I hope all is going well and you're having a beautiful blessed day. Right now I want to hang out with you a little bit and share with you guys my sermon notes from this past week. As you guys know, we are in a series called This is Jesus. It is the sermon series that is going to carry us through Easter. Um, and this week was the second sermon and it's called Jesus Meets My Needs. So the story I want to share with you right now comes from Matthew 14, verses 14, 14 through 21. And it is the story of Jesus feeding the 5,000. So it begins like this. Jesus saw a huge crowd as he stepped out, stepped from the boat. And he said he had compassion on them and healed their sick. That evening... The disciples came to him and said, This is a remote place, and it's already getting late. Send the crowds away so they can go to the villages and buy food for themselves. But Jesus said, That isn't necessary. You feed them. But we only have... But we only have five loaves of bread and two fish, they answered. Bring them here to me, he said. Then he told the people to sit on the grass. Jesus took the loaves, the five loaves of bread and two fish, looked up towards the heavens and blessed them. Then, breaking the loaves into pieces, he gave the bread to the disciples who distributed it to the people. They all ate as much as they wanted. And afterwards, the disciples picked up the 12 bas picked up 12 baskets of leftovers. About 5,000 men were fed that day. In addition, in addition to all the women and children. Okay, so one thing I want to point out that's not really in my notes is that our pastor had pointed out on Saturday that the disciples said something that wasn't really true. They said, we only have five loaves and two fish, which Jesus was like, you guys, seriously, you have me, so you have more then five loaves and two fish. Okay, so are, there are three major takeaways that are that these notes want us to take away from um, the sermon. And so the first takeaway is that Jesus meets my needs when one, I bring my needs to him. And so the verse that illustrates this is that is Psalm 55 verse 22 and it says, Give your burdens to the Lord and he will take care of you. You guys, this point, point number one, brought me so much comfort because I, as you guys could probably tell, I'm a talker and I love talking, you know, talking out my joys and also talking out my problems. And there are so many times in life when I feel that um, I've talked something, I've talked about something too much, whether it be good or bad. And um, I feel like people would... Um, say oh my gosh she's telling that story again or oh my gosh didn't you you know haven't you gotten over that obsession whatever the obsession may be and um I really feel bad about you know talking something out over and over and over again um because I don't want to bore the people that are listening to my story and so um, but 
it brought me comfort to know that Jesus never, ever, ever gets tired of hearing our stories, gets tired of hearing what's on our heart. And we can, if we need to, we can bring him the same need over and over and over again. And the one the one need that he wants us to bring over and over and over again is the prayer of other people's salvation. He wants us to pray for our friends that do not know him to come to him. And that is something that often we need to pray for over and over and over again. So that's one thing that really, really brought me comfort. And so point number two that we need to remember is that we need to remain thankful. And so the verse that illustrates this comes from first the first Thessalonians five, chapter five, verse eighteen, and it says, Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for your for you who belong to Christ Jesus. So, you guys, we have to remember though that it doesn't say be thankful for all circumstances, but in all circumstances because God is in all circumstances, whether we know it or not. We might have started a situation that um, he didn't want us to start, but he's in it because if we are his, if we confess to be his children, he is always, always with us, no matter what. And so we, that alone is a huge, huge reason to be thankful. And so takeaway number three, Jesus meets my needs when I offer my entire life to him. So the verse that illustrates this comes from Mark 8, um, verse 35, and it says, if you try and hang on to your life, you will lose it. And this is Jesus talking. But if you give your life up for my sake, you will, for my sake and for the sake of the good news, you will save it. So we need to surrender everything in our life to Christ. And um, so I want to leave you with the memory verse before I tell you guys a little story. Um, the memory verse comes from Matthew 6 and it's verse 33. And it says, Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously. And he will give you everything you need. So, you guys, that is the memory verse, but the story that I want to leave you with is that I would not be here. I am a person who would not be here if it was not for Jesus Christ himself. Because when I was born, I was facing very, very, very hard circumstances um, that without him, I wouldn't have survived. So... And I've shared my story numerous times, both here and on Facebook. I will repost it here um, so you guys can read it if you wish. Um, actually, I think it's already up. But so you guys could go find it. I think it has a picture of me um, to start it off. Um, but I want to tell you 100%. I would not be here if God had not provided what um, what I needed. And if he had not been, if there was no God, I would not be here. Because if there was no God, then there would be no miracle of life. And so, um, yeah, so that in itself is... A reason that I think that people should believe in Christ is because if you see people like me who weren't wasn't um, expected to do much in their life 
um, basically walking, talking, breathing, and um, and the circumstances were against them, which you'll see if you read my story. Um, you guys, God does exist, and um, if you haven't uh, accepted Jesus Christ in your heart yet, but you would like to, all you have to do is pray a simple prayer. Just say, Dear Jesus, I don't understand everything, but I do understand that you exist and that you love me and that you want to come into my life and be the Lord of my life. And I accept you as the Lord of my life. I give everything over to you. And I'm ready to go on this adventure. And I ask for your help and your guidance and your provision. And I guarantee if you prayed that prayer that you are now a child of God and that he will come alongside you and take you on this adventure called life. I'll talk to you guys later. I love you and thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.